Yeah, Should I look at you or the camera? Yeah. All right, sweet. I'll look there. <laughs> this season's been so much fun. Started off a little bit hectic. Two weeks in, I broke my arm, got a nice little scar, and uh, that took me off snow for a little while, but I was itching to the bit to get back at it, and then once I was riding again, um, I was on, you know, I was just so hyped to be back and was going really hard and had a couple uh, competition results that I'm pretty happy with. So hopefully we can just keep the progression going upwards and should be fun. Yeah, well, uh, I've always believed that snowboarding is snowboarding and, you know, no matter what discipline, a good snowboarder can ride anything and I'm trying to make myself a good snowboarder, if that makes sense, you know. I, I want to I wanna ride competitively in slope style, big air, half pipe, rails, like rail jams, natural selection, I don't know, anything, you know. And um, I just, I love snowboarding so much and I want to do it in everything and I think everything helps the other. So I just, uh, I just want to shred and see where it takes me. My whole life I've kind of grown up and thought you should just go as big as you can on stuff, you know? And I think the half pipe is a perfect canvas to do such a thing, you know? Uh, amplitude is a big factor into it and whoever goes the biggest, you know, gets the most cheers from the crowd and getting cheers from the crowd is, is awesome and just getting people hyped on what you're doing is uh, what you want to do. Yeah, so I've always just wanted to go as big as I possibly can and it's a good feeling, gets the heart, gets the adrenaline going and um, scares you a little bit and I think that's what you need and um, I think my favourite place to do that is in Larks. The pipe there is amazing, you know. Um, it's my favourite half pipe in the world and the, the T-bar right next to it goes so quick so you can get heaps of runs in and work on how big you want to go. And yeah, I'm, I'm excited to get back there and do some more spring pipe laps. As much as snowboarding is progressing in a technical way and there's all the massive uh, 16s, 18s, 19s, soon to be 21s, um, I think the more it progresses, the more it makes the front three indies beautiful, you know? The back rodeo is beautiful and uh, I think as it progresses, people will maybe stop caring about the massive tricks and more care about the character and uh, persona that people put in their tricks. You know, you look at, at some riders and they have lots of really technical tricks, but their style is unmatchable. You know, you can't, you can't repeat that because it's their own style. And I think that's something that's really important in, in snowboarding is seeing someone express their true self through their riding and, and have their own style. Well, uh, one of my friends, actually, uh, I've known him for maybe four years, Ming, Suyi Ming. He, uh, he got some Olympic medals and stuff, but uh, he's just an animal, you know. He, uh, his technique is so perfect for all the really big tricks and he does them with style, you know. Like the 18s he does, he grabs Indy and fully bones it out and it's, it's pretty beautiful. And, uh, I have a lot of respect for him to be able to do that and put such style into such a technical trick and I think the world is his oyster for sure. He's got a lot more insane shredding to do and I, I love watching him. <laughs>